emotion. In our personal world, emotions tell us how life is going and motivate us to take related actions. If we perceive our emotions as caused by circumstance, then they appear as simply reactions created by the environment. Even though most people relate to emotions in this way, there is also a modicum of personal responsibility sprinkled in. This is seen in the attitude that one might be over the top with some emotional reaction, such as, I shouldn't be so angry, or I have to get past my fears, and so on. These two relations reveal that we may have competing views as to the cause of arising emotions. Regardless of view, we still react. In the first and more entrenched perspective, we blame the reactions on others or circumstance. In the latter view, we may blame ourselves and then either try to suppress or modify our reaction or our behavior or attempt to compensate for our excuse for compensate for or excuse our choices in some way. If instead we could actually experience that emotions are something we are doing, then not doing them or changing them becomes possible and accessible. Consciously grasping that we are generating our emotions the possibility arises we could eliminate emotional reactivity altogether. Yet, human interaction and relations are largely determined by emotions. So even if we feel ourselves, even if we free ourselves from reactivity, we, are still, we will still interact using the many distinctions we've compiled that relate to emotions and all sorts of feelings of various kinds. As it stands, how we feel about another or the actions of another sets the tone for our relating by determining whether any encounter is held as positive or negative, and specifically so. Depending on our feelings, our countenance shows shifting nuance throughout any encounter, indicating subtler gross shifts in emotional state. Our vocal pitch fluctuates in slight or dramatic ways, as do our facial expressions, body language, and our choice of words. As a human, we are constantly emanating emotional dispositions. This provides information to others, and also we pick up information from others, so that we can relate to what's perceived as their current disposition, And our current disposition is related to them. And we, we take a look, we see how their disposition that we assess in some way, constantly trying to pick up what's going on over there so you know how to relate to it. What are they thinking? What do they think of me? You know, what, what, what emotion state's going on that shows up in all sorts of... Uh, subtle ways, you know, the eyes, facial expression, body language, voice, you know, uh, body language, you see, et cetera, and uh, uh, voice timber, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you say, okay, so we can relate to it. Relate it to us, relate it to ourselves. What does it mean to me? And how do I relate to it? Watch anyone interact for a while and you will see emotional states being expressed. So you just kind of think back. You know, and watching, say if you were watching two people interact, right? For a while. You notice there's different feeling states taking place, right? You're talking in a park or at a bar or whatever, you know they're going through stuff. Sometimes it's dramatic, right? They're yelling and screaming at each other or hugging and kissing or whatever. It's, oh, it's dramatic. I bet there's feelings involved there, you know? See? Sometimes they're subtle. See? Yeah? 
But you notice, it's a, yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, that guy looks bored. You know. The other guy seems oblivious. <laughs> Doesn't care. Likes to hear himself talk. But this guy's bored. That guy likes to hear himself talk. Yeah? Okay. Oh, those people seem to be really interested in deep in conversation there. They seem interested, enthralled by what's occurring. Ah, and those guys, they're like in love, staring into each other's eyes, making soft cooing sounds. Uh-oh, now they're in arguing. <laughs> Uh-oh, didn't work. Or whatever. You know, even if you're talking to somebody at a bus stop, so you pick up disposition, what's going on with them. It might shift or change a little bit. In your estimation, see, in your estimation. Using the cues and language of emotion isn't really an option in human social relating, since our interactions are already designed around such distinctions. Eliminating this field altogether isn't useful. It's a bit like if we want to ride a bicycle, we have, to relate, we have to rotate the pedals, because that's how it's designed to function. We can refuse to ride the bike, but to ride it we must conform to the design. Just so, in any already invented world, we're obliged to use the tools provided to be successful in that world. If you want to call your uh, friend on your cell phone, you have to use the cell phone. You know what I'm saying? You know, push buttons or whatever, do these things you see, and then rings the answer. You, you know, you got it. That's invented already. Yeah, see. And so if you want to use it, you don't have to call it, call your friend. But if you want to, you've got to go through the avenues that are available. Yeah. So are you saying it's like a, like a self already built? Uses emotion, like I use emotions and feeling as a, like a primary driver. I've got to continue to utilize those avenues if I'm going to perform as a self. No, no. Um, it, yes, if you want to be, you know, focused on self survival, stuff like that, you'll use those things as motivators, etc. But you could also survive just fine without, without them. most or all of them. And, um, but if you're going to interact with other people, say, the distinctions you make and the cues about what's going on and what you're expressing will involve emotional distinctions, feeling distinctions, say, that you'll express or get across or pick up that determine your relating, say. Are they friendly or not, you know? Are they going to sleep with me tonight or not, you know? Say, are they uh, angry? Upset? Is it about me? Is it about something else? You know, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all these little things, whatever it is. You know, they're not interested at all. You know. Or they're boring. You know, it's like, oh, kind of, what's going on over there? It's vacuous or something. Right? See, and all those have feeling senses to them, positive, negative, et cetera. I think. So whether or not you were actually involved in those yourself, you still cue the other with them. <laughs>